Hi, I'm Keith Johnson, CEO of VisualWorks and one of the creators of our CampWorks reservation software. In this video, I'll give you a brief demonstration of our point of sale software, integrated payment technology, and I'll cover the various pieces of equipment that can be used to support the integration. For integrated payments, we will be demonstrating use of Card Connect as our preferred payment partner. And why we integrated Card Connect are a number of reasons. First of all, they have leading edge technology. Second of all, they are uh, their support is superior to none. And third, they're owned by First Data. They're one of the, the world's largest payment companies, and therefore they can also provide very good rates. So that combination of, of those three things makes them an excellent choice and, and our preferred partner for payments. Okay, why integrate payments? Well, there's, there's three main reasons. And the first is PCI compliance. With uh, the integration that we provide uh, with, with Card Connect and also with our other partner, uh, Open Edge or XCharge, you have a completely PCI compliant payment card industry compliance solution that enables you to store cards, run cards later if there's a no-show. Um, so that's, that's probably one of the biggest reasons you have uh, no security concerns of, of card data being stolen. If someone were to hack into your, your computer, steal your database, they're not getting any sensitive card holder information. Yet, you can run cards as needed in those cases like I just mentioned. So that's number one. Number two is accuracy. Um, there's, it's one system that's fully integrated, so there's, there's not a step of manually running it on a different system and then relying on your employees to enter it properly in CampWorks. So at the end of the day, um, things can be off and not match, but essentially with an integrated system, they're one and the same, so there's, there's no reason for the reports to be off and everything should uh, reconcile at the end of the day. And thirdly is speed. It's very fast, you're not doing two systems, you're not running it on one and then manually putting it in the other, um, in, into CampWorks, for example. So in this case, you uh, process the transaction very fast for your guests to check in, very fast for them to take payments. Okay, let's do an actual transaction just to show you how fast and simple it is. So we'll do a card present transaction first. In this case, I'll do a penny transaction, so I click on a swipe insert tells me to insert the card now. On the screen, this is the Ingenico device, it tells us to confirm the amount of one cent. Yes. Enter the card. Tells us to please wait. Now it says remove the card and it's approved. Now it asks if you want to print a credit card receipt. Yes. And you can have that automatic. I have it set to uh, prompt. And there's our receipt. So that's it. The card is ran. Everything is entered into CampWorks. The reservation has been credited. So that's how easy it is to run a card present transaction. So now let's do a card not present just to show you that path. So let's click on new. And we'll do a two cent transaction this time. Two cents. And this time I'll click on pay manual entry. Now you can see the hosted payment screen comes up where we can enter the credit card number. So let's do that. And notice as soon as I finish typing the number, the, um, the card changed to the asterisk in it. That means that the card is tokenized. It means that it, uh, the card was entered properly. It is a valid card number. Card Connect has confirmed that it is, and we are able to finish making this payment. Print our receipt, and there we have it. So there we've successfully just done a card present and a card not present transaction. All right, let's take a look at the equipment. So we have several pieces of equipment that I'd like to describe. Let's start with the integrated credit card processing equipment. This is all provided through Card Connect. Every one of these uses their encryption technologies, and so that's why you have to use a, um, the equipment from them. So let's start with the least expensive. This is just a card swiper. 
It's an encrypted card swiper. Card is swiped through the slot. You've seen these hundreds of times and um, pretty straightforward. This device is a similar device. It is a card swiper, but it also has a keypad entry. And you have an option that you can do in CampWorks to force um, credit card entry through the keypad. And basically what that does is it keeps everything encrypted going into CampWorks so that there's no possibility of any unencrypted data even being entered into CampWorks. Now, um, it is still safe to use the entry mode, which is the ma manual entry mode using the, the uh, hosted payment form that I showed you earlier. Uh, that is PCI compliant, it's safe, but for a higher level of security, basically, these devices can be used. So if you're really, really hypersensitive to security, I know places like casinos will use these because they, they don't want any potential of any software that is capturing keystrokes and looking for credit cards to, to potentially um, be an issue for them. So option if you want. A little bit more expensive, I think you know, this is maybe 150, 160, but again, depending on time of when you watch this video, pricing could change. All right, these two devices, these two are chip card readers. Again, everything encrypted using the encryption codes and technology from Card Connect, so they would advise you on which path you should go on equipment. Uh, this one, as you can see, is a more of a black and white display, not quite as nice. There is a, another version of this one that is colored that's a little bit more expensive. These are roughly in the mid 300s uh, range and um, see the chip card goes in there and then um, the difference is these two by the way are USB so these plug in to the, your computer via USB these two are more secure in that they never go through your computer they plug directly into your router via an Ethernet cable and go transmit encrypted data directly using a protocol called P2PE point to point encryption and that uh, makes it the most secure possible way of transferring the data. So it's encrypted as it goes in, especially with chip card, goes right to your router, right to card point, card connect, and um, so there's really no chance of any issues. So you can see the ISC Touch 250 has a little bit better display on it. It's a color display even though what I'm showing you is in black and white. Uh, we will be programming more capability into these in the future, so if you're thinking to the future and point of sale and maybe seeing items ring up or other display messages, this one has more capability to do that. So uh, I guess just keep that one in mind. This one's probably more like $500, but again, uh, reference pricing via Card Connect for that. Okay, so that covers the integrated uh, credit card processing equipment. So let's talk about two other items. Uh, let's go to the printer. Printer would be the the next important thing that you want, we showed you this earlier. This is an Epson TM88. Uh, this is a version 4. We have a source that we've used that with pretty good luck to buy refurbished for about $110. Again, we can, we'll can provide the links and the information on that. The cash drawer connects directly in to the, um, to the printer via a phone cable, just like you would use for your, your recorded phone. Uh, it, just plugs into that and there's not even a power cord. And just to show you how this works, I'm gonna press the no sale button on here and see how it kicks the drawer open. So the drawer uh, is, the command is sent to the printer which actually sends to the drawer. So this is a USB printer. Uh, recommend USB for pretty much everything except the cash drawer connecting through the printer. This cash drawer, there's there's a variety of solutions out there. This one I think we paid about $60 for. Yeah, you might be able to find a little bit smaller model if you're space constrained or there's, there's different options, but um, that's what we'd recommend right now. And then the last piece of equipment I'll show you is the barcode scanner. There are many different choices for barcodes. This, uh, this one comes with a stand. It is wired or wireless. See right now I have it in wireless mode. You can pull it out, use it handheld. Um, it is uh, has a Bluetooth dongle for a wireless mode or a wire that plugs into the bottom of it. This one was only about $30. There are 
uh, many different choices for barcode scanners. They're all pretty much universal and, and they work great. So um, that's a quick example of, of the different pieces of equipment and what we would recommend. Okay, let's demonstrate the scanner, uh, the POS scanner, barcode scanner in action. So I've got our point of sale application opened up. We're ready to scan some items. So let's go over here. Here's a few items to scan. Let's scan that one. See how it put it in Campworks or in point of sale. Scan the lemonade. It's hard to do looking at the camera. There we are. All right, so now you can see it's added that one in. And then here's an example of printed. Uh, you can create your own labels or barcodes for like firewood. So here's one with firewood. So it's added firewood onto the point of sale. Now let's do ice. Now you see our ice is added on. So that's a uh, just a quick demonstration of how the point of sale application and the barcode scanner seamlessly integrates. Let's take it one step further and let's process the payment for this. We'll just do a cash payment to show you how this works and how all the, the equipment integrates with the screen. So let's go enter payment and we'll just do uh, it's cash and we'll just say they gave us a 20 and finalize sale. And actually, we, we have it set up to prompt and say yes. So now we should see the receipt come out right here. So there's our receipt. Tells us change due is $3.47 and our cash drawer open. So there you see the complete integration of a cash transaction. The last area I would like to demonstrate for you is the Card Connect Card Point website interface. This is your portal for logging into through the web to see all the transactions in Card Connect. This is every transaction that's been processed or is being processed. And uh, so this is the dashboard screen. At this point, you can see there's three cents that have been tra transacted today as we have been doing some testing. If I click on the reporting screen, I can see the details of those transactions. So for today, here are the three transactions that happened, a total of three cents, a two cent and a one cent that were captured or um, have been ran today and will be processed or batched tonight. And then there's one that was declined. By clicking on the transaction number, you can see the details around that transaction. If I scroll down, I can see the all the rest of the processing details. So useful to uh, evaluate status of a or the details around a particular transaction. And then another area is the virtual terminal. This uh, is where if you wanted to run a card not through the CampWorks integration, so just run a card on its own, you can run it here. You can look up existing cards. So you can see I have existing cards in the system. And so then um, put in the um, total that you want to process and process it. So uh, this is a extremely useful tool that everyone should use. If you're processing credit cards through Card Connect, you will want to use this interface to see the details about your transaction activity and your funding to make sure that money is flowing through as it should through the funding or through the through the system and into your checking account. So uh, manage funding, manage the transactions, validate all the transactions that happened in CampWorks are going through CardPoint. So great tool and a very simple, easy to use interface.